Hi, I'm Dawn, and I want to lead you through some exercises to help relieve your sciatic nerve pain. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need is to find a step, a staircase, uh, maybe a block that you can stand on. And this is what I would do to relieve my pain immediately. So if you have an imbalance in your spine, in your pelvis, that's creating a piriformis inflammation that creates your sciatic pain, this can really help. So just stand with your leg that's not bothering you on the step, and then the one that's radiating the pain, allow it to hang down. And just relax and breathe. You can tuck your tailbone under a little bit, so you're decompressing your spine, and just let that, that leg hang. If you want, you can do some calf strengthening, some gentle squats. Typically, the leg where you have your pain is your dominant leg, meaning your stronger leg. It's the leg that you walk with up and down stairs first, stepping off a curb, putting on your pant leg, your shoes, and so it can feel very tight and tense. And the other leg is a little weaker. So as we're letting this leg relax and hang, we can strengthen the other leg. All right, now let's try another one. So you can grab a desk, a table, or here I have a chair, and then walk back, make about a 90 degree angle, straighten the legs as much as you can, don't overdo it, and then shift your weight, your hips go to the right and left. Feel like you're pushing back to the corners of your room behind you, and breathe out. This will give some relief, opening up that sciatic nerve taking that pressure off, reducing that pinching. This is for instant pain relief. If you want to bend your knees because you feel too much pull, that's not a problem. Just breathe out. Great job. Okay, next one. You can see my right leg is a little shorter than my left and my right side is my problematic side. Lie down on your back. I'm gonna bend my knees and then fold the longer leg on top of the shorter leg. This will help kind of shift my pelvis as I hug in and I rock in. So I used to do chiropractic adjustments and acupuncture treatments, but the best thing was adjusting my own posture myself. That way I'm using my muscles, I'm retraining my body, and that gives me a more permanent relief and then permanent adjustment. Great. And then figure four stretch. So whichever side is bothering you, so for me it's my right, that ankle goes on the knee and then you rock it up. And then we'll switch to the other side. And then what we want to do is repeat the painful side again. So let's do that side again. Gently rock that leg. You can pull it in a little further if it feels okay. Just keep breathing. Great job. And then twist and breathe out and feel it opening and stretching. Keep your upper body relaxed and turn your head the opposite way and feel the difference. Breathe in and out. And release. Okay, this last one is a hip bounce. So again, we wanna help adjust the length of the legs by shifting the pelvis so I want to take my longer leg on my left side and pull it in about an inch. And then what I'm going to do is lift up my pelvis and just drop it down. So you can do this at a quick pace. You can lift up just a little bit or you can do it higher, lifting all the way up and then dropping down. Make sure you exhale on the way down. This can give you immediate relief. I hope that helped you relieve any discomfort you might have. 
Please keep practicing and little by little, you should notice a difference. Don't forget to like this video if you did and share it with anyone who might need it. And then subscribe so you don't miss any of our other videos. See you next time.